Simone Scott here at Trent Dilfer at the Elite 11 competition in Columbus, Ohio. Just first of all, how did the day go? It was a great day. I mean, I, I get chills every time I'm on this campus. I can imagine what the kids do. It's great energy. Uh, the kids were spectacular, just the way they competed. We challenged, we do every time. We, we really challenge them stuff they've never done before. Um, they responded well to the coaching. They had great attitudes. Um, I, I, the camps continue to get better and better and say it was one of the best. How was today? Are there any commit or guys out there that stood out to you? Absolutely. Um, top of my head, Ryan Brand. Um, from Jesuit in Detroit. Um, not a guy that's been on the recruiting radar a lot because he's 5'10". Um, unfortunately, that still matters to people. You, you would think that Russell Wilson kind of dispelled a lot of that. but that whole uh, Super Bowl thing. Exactly, that whole Super Bowl thing. Uh, Ryan Brand's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, uh, and he did not disappoint today. Alex Melzone, uh, another Detroit kid. Um, ben Hicks, a Houston commit. Second time we've seen him. He was great down in Texas. He was even better today. Uh, highly competitive kid. James Morgan um, was a kid that was on our radar from Dallas and, and came and, and was better today. Lorenzo Nunez, Austin King, um, those are the guys. And, and and I would say another five, six, seven others. Uh, Kyle Shermer. It wouldn't surprise me if Kyle Shermer ends up being the best quarterback in this class two, three years from now. Uh, great pedigree, uh, large frame, highly athletic, high football acumen. Um, you know, it still hasn't completely organized his body, but really, really good and has natural passing instincts. So uh, just a, a good group. You know, everybody's been down the 2015 class. The more I'm around it, the better I think it is. <laughs> we, speaking of Ohio State, we are at Ohio Stadium right now, and there were two Ohio State commits out there, Joey Burrow and Danny Clark. How did they look? Uh, Danny Clark, as you can tell, he's got a lot of athleticism. He's a guy that's very gifted, big frame, still needs to get organized, obviously, and that's part of it, growing into your body. I mean, this is a this is a craft position, you know, where technique is very important and mechanics are hard to hone when you don't have total control of your body yet so he's a kid that's still grown into his body uh, Joe Burrow was good he you know I don't want to say great but he was good he's a, he's an impressive athlete he's a good thrower he's competitive uh, we made him uncomfortable which was you know we tried to do and then he responded well so uh, nothing but good things to say and, and we would be remiss you already mentioned earlier Alex Malzone a Michigan commit how did he look Alex is really impressive, mainly because he's a kid that hasn't been doing a lot of football. I mean, he's a big-time baseball player. They just got out of, done with, I think, the state playoffs or regional playoffs. Um, you know, is hasn't been training as much as a lot of these other kids. He's a really talented kid. He's a fierce competitor. Uh, he's got that that large stature, not necessarily height. He's probably 6'2", 6'2 and a half, but he's got the wide body. He'll be durable. Uh, got a lot of twitch uh, in him as an athlete. Uh, I really like Alex a lot, and, and I think he's a guy that – He's good in these environments, but he's even better when you put the pads on. And, and we obviously put a lot of stake in, in how they are with pads on. What fundamental things are you looking for out here? I think that, you know, to simplify, obviously a lot of things. To simplify, we want, we want guys that get all their, they translate all the energy in their body through their finger to the ball. Mm -hmm simply said now there's a lot of biomechanics and a lot of science in that um, but we re really try to teach them to play with a stronger base which will lead to balance uh, we try to hone their upper body mechanics so they're efficient um, the key of this whole thing is turning ground force into rotational force um, there's science behind that and and uh, we try to communicate that to them in a simple way in a few positions and it's amazing we see radical change even in a competition environment like this but uh, we see radical change in kids and it and it opens their eyes to how good they can be and I think if there's anything we do really really well is that kids get better after they come to our camp you know this they're not finished products uh, and we're not just trying to find 18 we want all 850 we coach this year to be better when they leave and and uh, we we've had some wild success doing that and the credit goes to the, the best quarterback staff in the country my staff and and the hard work we put behind it you can look at the alumni that you guys have very impressive bunch indeed well thank you so much it definitely was a great elite 11 here in columbus thank